one of the great exalted Vaishnavas of this blessed line of the Gaudiya Vaishnav Sampradaya was Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. We are sitting at his samadhi, the place where his body was laid after he departed from this world. And on this side are the murtis of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Nityananda Prabhu that were personally worshipped with unalloyed love and devotion by Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj in this place. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur accepted Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj as the supreme guru of his life. In fact, Thakur Bhakti Vinod, he acclaimed him to be Vaishnava Sarava Bhoma, the commander-in-chief of all the Vaishnavas throughout the world. Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj in this area performed his bhajan. For many years he lived in Vrindavan Dham at a place called Surya Kund, not far from Govardhan. And in his great humility, he considered that it was required to come and make Navadweep Dham his home because the shelter of Navadweep is a place where we are forgiven for all of our offenses. And this area is considered the place where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu forgave all offenses from even the greatest sinners and awarded them love of God. Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj manifested the purest principles of Vaishnav lifestyle. He sat here and very loudly he would throughout the entire day and throughout the entire night chant the holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. constantly immersed in chanting Japa and chanting Kirtan with the other devotees. He was such a lover of the holy Dham that he considered that every grain of dust, even the insignificant insects and animals were worshipable because they had, by the mercy of Mahaprabhu, taken birth in this holy land of Navadvi. There is a story of how he would take prasad and when he would take prasad about 10 or 12 little baby dogs would come and eat off his plate with him and they would all take the prasad together and one time his servant Bihari Lal he prevented the dogs from coming and Jagannathas Babaji Maharaj he asked his servant where are my guests said I have kept them away he became very angry he said then I will fast I will not eat he said, these are the dogs of the holy Dham. I am so fortunate to take prasad with them. So from that day on, Jagannath Das Babaji would have wonderful feast with the dogs of Navadvi. Sometimes people would come and offer him donations. And he lived such a simple, humble life. He had no need for money for himself at all. Whatever was given, he would just put in a bag. And after some time, he told his servant, you go buy with these hundreds of rupees that we have, you buy rasgulas, and you serve them to all of the cows and dogs of Navadweep. And the servant thought, perhaps we should give them to the Babajis and the sadhus of Navadweep. And he said, no, do not give to them. He said, they are mostly all pretenders, sahajyas. They are coming to the holy dham pretending to be great saints, but in their minds, in their hearts, as well as in their activities, they are still materially attached. If we want to actually make proper spiritual advancement, we have to learn to give charity to the right people. So give to the dogs and the cows of Navadvip Dham. Shri Navadvip Dham Ki! You are listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com